Tigers. We have Keldrick Falk with us, and he's ready for your questions. We'll start in the back on the left side. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7 in Auburn. Keldrick, you're the first sophomore ever selected for SEC Media Days by Auburn. What, what kind of honor is that, and what does it mean to be up there representing your team? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it shows that uh, I'm becoming the leader on my team, and uh, I'm, leading, I'm leading the right way on my team. Okay, we'll go here in the aisle, third row. Alexa Harley, WHNT in Huntsville. We've spoken to a lot of players from other schools about how tough it is to play at Jordan Hare. What do you think makes it such an intense environment for road teams? Um, I think it's the hardest place in college football to play. Uh, you got the fans and the sideline uh, all against you. And, you know, the energy from, from our fans and uh, from our players on the sideline is, uh, is different from any, anywhere else in college ball. We'll go in the fourth row in the aisle. Uh, Aiden Tyler, OU Knightley. Uh, Oklahoma comes to town uh, for their first ever road SEC contest. How do you think Jordan Hare is going to welcome them to the SEC? What kind of environment are you expecting for that game? Uh, we're going to welcome them like any other team. Uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to show them that it's, it's, it's the toughest place to play in college ball. Like, you know, it's not going to be an easy game that you can come in and uh, just walk all over us. Nah, it's not going to be that. It's going to be something you got to fight for. Right side, second row. Derek Peterson, Saturday Down South. Um, what, what does it take to go from being a true freshman to a, a, a guy that plays every single game and, and becomes what you've, you've become? I mean, what is that? What kind of mental fortitude does that take? And then physically, like, what's required? Uh, mentally, a lot is required. I mean, you, you're going out there, um, you're going out there every Saturday just uh, playing against some, some of the best players in, in college ball. Uh, a lot of people say the SEC is like the mini NFL. Like you got so many uh, NFL draft picks and uh, NFL prospects you playing against every week. You got to play with your A game, like, uh, and you got to practice like it's your last. So uh, mentally, it takes a lot out of you, but uh, and physically, probably even more. Left side, back row. Mar Marcus Harris moving on to the NFL after a, an outstanding Auburn career. You got to play with him uh, your first year, uh, work, work alongside him. What did you learn, and, and what did you see uh, working with Marcus? Uh, I learned how to how to work like a pro athlete. Uh, Marcus Harris was one of the hardest workers uh, on our team. Uh, I also learned how to lead like a leader should. Uh, he was our, he was one of our vocal leaders. Uh, he was also uh, a leader by example. So um, every day I try to you know, mimic that and uh, perfect it to the best of my ability. We'll stay on the aisle on the left. Keldrick, Rosie there. Langello from WSFA in Montgomery. Um, what has it been like working with DJ Durkin and um, how has your relationship been with him? Uh, it's, been, it's been energized. Uh, he, he brings the energy every day. Uh, he expects perfection, which uh, that's what we strive for. We strive for perfection every day. Um, he expects the best out of us and um, Whenever we hit, whenever we step on that field, it's you know, he's dialed in, uh, he's bringing the energy, and you know he he's keeping us uh, active and in the scheme at all times. Left side, back row. Marcus, a lot of new faces on on the defensive line, some some incoming transfers, some some freshmen. What what can you say about the rest of the group on the Auburn defensive line, and, and who's really stepped it up this offseason? Um, I can say Keyron Crawford uh, and Jalen McLeod. Uh, are, are two guys on the edge that that are really stepping up. Like, you know, uh, they're not vocal leaders uh, per se, but they're they're more. Uh, you know, we're gonna show you like this is how it's supposed to be done type of leaders. Like, they're they're examples. They're example leaders. And uh, you got Philip Philip Bleedy from uh, I think he came from Indiana. Um, he's one of those guys, uh, another guy, like, he, he leads by example. He's one of our one of the hardest workers on the team. Like, he keeps his head down every day, and he attacks every workout, every practice, every uh, run, like it's his last. Right side, second row. Cam Coleman has gotten a bunch of attention this offseason. I guess, what have you seen from him, and do you guys have to try to keep his head on his shoulders a little bit? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, Cam Coleman, man, he um, – yeah, he, he is, he's, he's been phenomenal uh, in the spring. Like, uh, you, you, could, you could tell from when he first came in, you know, five-star or not, it really didn't matter to him. So he came down, he came in with his head down. Uh, 
he was ready to work as soon as he stepped on campus. And uh, you could tell from the first practice to the end of spring uh, how, how developed his game was. I mean, he, he, was, he was already a, a pretty good player, but uh, by the end of the spring, you know, he, he, looked, he looked really good. Left side, back row. You're one of several uh, Hugh Freeze recruits from the immediate area. JC's from from nearby. Uh, Cam Coleman. You know, a lot of guys. Is it more special playing for a school uh, really close to where you grew up and and, and sort of uh, something that feels like home? Uh, yeah, it, it's it's pretty special because you get to represent where you're from, um, and then also you got your hometown like not too far down the road. They're they're you know behind you ten toes. So. Um, you represent them and uh, represent your home state. Uh, it's, it's a it's a pretty big pretty big deal to me. So. Left side, fourth row. A lot of other teams that have come through here have talked about the difficulty of playing at Jordan Hare Stadium. What's the experience been like for you, and what do you think is the real edge of playing there? Um, the real edge is uh, the intensity that Jordan Hare bring, the Jordan Hare brings. Um, like it's not it's, it's not easy to play in there. Uh, I can speak for it on the defense side of the ball. Like, you know, when we are when we're out there on defense, you know, you can barely hear anything. You know, you can you can rarely make checks on the field. So, uh, you can imagine how it is for the offense on the other side. Left side, back row. Hey, Kildra, Tony Reese, WTVM out of Columbus, Georgia. We talk about uh, the Auburn Tigers having six and seven seasons back to back years. Just kind of, how have you all guys really been able to like? Do away with those last two seasons and really look forward to this season? And what can we expect on the field this season? Um, you really just uh, just build off of what you had last season. You know, uh, it was Coach Freeze's uh, first year last year, uh, you know, assembling the team with, you know, assembling the team in the, in the, in the time that he had uh, as far as, like, recruits and then getting guys out the transfer portal, um, you know, you looking back on that, you you got a lot to build off of, and it, the, with the players on the team now, like what we had last year, we're excited even more for this year. Back row again. Yeah, you, you got on the field a lot as a true freshman. There are true freshmen this year for Auburn that want to play a lot. What, what's your advice, and what are the most important things they need to do if, if they want to contribute as true freshmen? Uh, my advice is it can be done. Like. It's not nothing that, you know, is impossible to do. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard because you're coming from playing high school ball where you're better than most everybody on the field. Now you're playing against people that, you know, are better or as good as you. So um, now you just got to work ten times harder to become that player you want to be. And once you become that player, you get seen and now you're stepping on the field. We have time for one more question. We'll go right here in the front. Hi, AP Stead of them, AP and Kelly, as we see at Syndicated Radio. I want to ask about the wide receivers, the young wide receivers and the transfer from Penn State. Right. Uh, what's your opinion of them and what can they bring to the team? Um, yeah, that's, that's a good question. Like, uh, as far as the freshmen, I mean, the freshmen are hungry. Like, they came in, they was – they're ready. They're ready to go to work. They're ready to play. Um, but as far as the transfers, like the guy from Penn, Keandre Lambert, man, he. Uh, as as far as I can tell, like I don't, we don't really see them as much. But as far as I can tell, he uh, he's trying to become a leader in his own. Like right now, like he's uh, he's been working. He's been working his tail off in the weight room, uh, in our team runs whenever we go out there and condition. Um, so the freshman guys, uh, getting the knowledge from him and, uh, other guys like Camden Brown, guys that already been through it, uh, really helped them too. So.